So, I am over at my friend's place, um, and his AC doesn't work. If I switch it over to code, uh, you might hear it click. Wait. Oh, wait, he had it up to 74. Alright, 71. Alright, now you can hear it click. And you can see that even though fans on auto, it doesn't come on. But the uh, uh, condensing unit outside, that does come on, as you can see in. So, as you can see outside right now, the AC is running. So, let's just turn this off. Uh, and let's just try to see if the fan comes on. So, if I click it to on. You should hear a fan come on right now, and it's not coming on. So there's definitely something odd going on. Um, the very first thing I want to do is, let's take this out, and I want to check the batteries, and the batteries are good. Right now, this is positioned at off, so not cold, not heat, at the middle, off, and this one right now is at auto. And I'm going to measure green because I know that green goes to the fan and red uh, red is uh, where uh, 24 volt AC comes in to 28 volt AC and if I look down you can see that I have 28.5 volt AC now if I switch this to on right now I just push that over to on so I just pushed that switch over to on right now, and if you look down here, it goes down to pretty much zero volt AC. So what that tells me is that uh, this thermostat is working, it's relaying the voltage back, and I have the uh, AC signal going back. So let's go look at the furnace and see why it's not kicking on. So right now I'm at the furnace, so if you look from the top, the top is... Uh, where the evaporator coil is and actually if I touch this coil it's cold to the bottom that's where the fan is at the bottom and in the middle that's where the uh, furnace area is so furnace fan and evaporator coil on top so if I look at this power since I got 24 volts AC signal so I know that I have power going to the unit but it's just always best to just check to see if I have 120 volts coming in so I have it plugged in and look down here yes I do have my 120 volts AC so I have power coming to this unit let me plug let me plug this back in now so this unit has a overflow control valve and since this is bone dry and since I have 120 volts I know that this is not an issue Okay, so let me take off this part right here. So once again, top is my furnace. And the bottom right here is the unit. You know, because I remove the cover, it doesn't it disengages this contact right here so I press this down now this unit is coming back on so if you look at this corner right here where the light is blinking that tells me the status of this control board so as you can see here it says uh, under diagnostic codes on the panel right here under diagnostic codes it uh, shows that according to the, how the light flashes what's uh, the, the condition of the board and you can see flashing slow uh, is, a, is a normal operation that means no call for heat anyway the control board is is working and you can even hear the relays click which is relaying the voltage to it um, so the next thing since the fan isn't coming on I want to look into the fan now if we look at the schematic, you can see that there is, uh, on the motor, 
there is a capacitor so we want to check the capacitor and see if it has the right capacitance then the next thing as you can see for AC uh, it uses the black wire okay here we go so the black wire is for KU which is a high speed and we want to measure the black wire to the white wire to see if we have the 120 volts that go to the AC motor so beneath the control board like right underneath where the blower motor is you can see that there's a capacitor right there and I already removed one of the screws now you can just pull the capacitor out now this is a run start capacitor for the fan and as you can see down here it says that it should be 7.5 microfarads um, and all we need to do is is uh, first take something to short across those two leads so just anything just to drain the capacitance just in case if there is any capacitance on them after you do it you can just pull out one of the leads right here and now we can measure the capacitance so as you can see I have it on caps and it measures 7.3 microfarads so the capacitor is good so let's just hook that back up so we know that the capacitor is good the next thing is if you follow the traces of these wires right here you can see that there's a red, white, black, yellow and blue wire um, if I look back at the charts it shows me whoops, can't focus there. if you look back at the charts it shows um, where the different wires go to and if they're the high uh, medium or low speed for the fan now since we know that black this wire right here is for code, it's for the high speed and that's the thing that's not coming on so I want to actually measure at that lead right there, the black wire right there so let me pull this out okay so I pull and uh, okay so I pull the black lead out right there I want to measure that to the white lead right here uh, according to the schematics white is where neutral is so I want to see if there's 120 volts going through there once it's uh, turned on so when I turn it on what do I do first of all I have to press this button and let me go and double check to see if the thermostat is set to fan on so the thermostat fan is on right now and I'm going to press this button and measure between those two locations and I want to see 120 volt AC okay. alright so I'm measuring that lead where I took off the black wire I'm touching the lead where the white wire goes to that's neutral uh, here it is and then I'm going to press that button and there's zero volt AC right there so that means that uh, there's no voltage going to the fan All right, now I can undo that um, so there's no voltage going to the fan uh, the next thing I could do is I could simply just give 120 volts to the fan and see if it kicks on or not so um, I'm going to unhook this power right here and where the switch is at because this relays uh, 120 volts uh, I'm going to remove I'm going to remove this top connector right here and I'm going to put in my AC fan to the top and see if it comes on that way Okay, so now I have 
basically I have 120 from the wall goes into a switch comes out of this cable and it goes straight into the fan and let's see if that kicks it on so I'm going to connect that back in power in and let's press this button alright so there you go so I know that the fan works so what does that mean that means that uh, the relay on this control board might not be working or maybe the control board is bad in general so let's uh, what we want to do is we want to take a, a lot of pictures of how this is hooked up even though we have the schematic down here that doesn't mean that uh, this was uh, hooked up uh, according to the schematic so first of all take a lot of pictures and what we're going to do is we're going to take out the controller board 